If you're new to Udemy, I just wanted to really quickly show you a couple of little tips here. So if you're having playback issues and your video is running really slow, um, or if you uh, want to post questions and answers, or if you want to leave a review, or if you want to make sure you're checking your messages, I just wanted to show you a quick little video of uh, all of those. So the first thing you want to do, if you go to your account and you're logged in, up here, uh, you're going to click down and it will actually have a little a button that says help. And because I'm already on the help page, it's not showing it here, but it will be in your drop down menu when you log in. So once you click the help button, it will take you to this screen here. And they have a section here for the students. And if you happen to be an instructor, there's one for instructors as well. So let's say if you're a student, you'd want to click on student and it's going to give you a few options here. Send a message to the instructor. You can play back video issues. So it will show you how to actually slow your screen down if you're having trouble with uh, Wi-Fi connection. Um, if you can't find your course or if you have purchase um, issues. And then they have a few other ones down here on um, troubleshooting purchases, refunds, such. Or if you have any account issues, it will we'll cover that for you as well. So unfortunately, as the instructor, we don't get the information um, from, from your accounts because there are many instructors on here. So you may take a course from somebody else as well. So it, you know your information is all private, and it's actually through Udemy. So when you have questions, um, this is where you're going to want to go to um, have those questions answered. All right, so let's start with the sound quality. So once you log into your course and you begin a lecture and you're gonna press that play button, uh, some folks have had trouble with either it's not playing, they can see it, but they can't hear it. Um, and there's a lot of other things that can happen. Another thing might be, it might be uh, talking too fast. So the first thing you wanna check is making sure that you're at one times for your speed. And that's that little button down here at the bottom. Uh, one will speed me up or slow the voice down. So if I sound like a chipmunk or something, you may want to make sure that that is set correctly. Now you can also, if you're in the middle of a course and you want to, you know, check back to see what I said, you can hit the rewind button or the forward button. Another thing that you can do here is adjust your volume, which is in this little section right here. You can go up or down from this and you can also mute it. And then lastly, uh, if your video is playing, you can hear it, but you can't see it. A lot of times it could be your Wi-Fi connection. So you want to, first of all, for the best quality, have it at the highest, which this one happens to be at 720. It does go to 1080. But if you're having trouble and you can't see the video or if it's skipping on you, you may want to adjust that down to either 480 or a 360. So the next thing I want to cover is if you have questions for your instructor. So that would be something that's not a blanket Udemy question, but more specifically about the particular course that you're taking. So we're in a particular lecture here, section one, lecture two, and you will see this little button down here, a little question mark, it says browse Q&A. So if you have a question, the first thing you wanna do is click on that just to see if another student has asked this question prior. So you're gonna click on that Q&A and it will show you whether or not there's any questions in this lecture already. If there are no questions and you want to ask your question, this is a great place to do it because other students may have very similar questions and this will answer it for everyone. So you're going to click on that question and you're going to type it in here. For example, what type of inks do I use? And then you would, you can either attach a link if you have a link that you want to attach to, or if you have a photograph of something that you're asking a question about, you can choose to add your photo here on this next this next section. And you see here where it says image. You click on that and you could choose a particular image from your computer. So let's go ahead and click post question. So then it will show that your question has been added successfully. And usually as an instructor, I try to get back to my students within 24 hours of posting the question. I try to get on here quite often for that. So this is a great place if you have a specific question to ask about that particular lecture or the full course. And it also would be a great area that you could post your picture or your painting as you progress through the course if you have questions for me or you'd like some feedback. 
So another uh, little tidbit here is if you're in your lecture or in part of your course and you're playing it and you're wondering, you know, where where did the other lecture go or where's that other the other part that I had a question on? You can hit the dashboard button and that will bring you back to the main screen here and it will give you uh, all of your lectures. The other thing is if you have this little blue button up here up at the top uh, this means that you have some resources available to you in this particular lecture. So it may be a PDF that you could print off, it might be a screenshot, it might be um, some material lists, it could be um, a JPEG. So uh, just make sure that you, you click on that if you're wondering where, if I've mentioned something in the course that this should be in here, make sure you check on that little blue box and then it will if you click on it, it will download it to the bottom of your screen here and it will show as a screenshot. So this is just an example piece that I had downloaded. So make sure you're checking your, your resources. And I'll usually say it's under resources and that's what I'm talking about is that little, that little button up there. So one other thing I want you to make sure that you check is to go into your messages. This is where I will send you a note and you'll see um, on the top right hand corner under messages click that button that says messages and you will see um, any notes that I may have sent you or other instructors have sent you so make sure you check on that. If you want to leave a review you can first of all choose to skip it if, uh, if you're right in the middle of a lecture sometimes it will keep coming up so you have to shut that off but um, if you want to ever go back in to adjust the rating of a course, you'll see on your dashboard under course content, your entire course here. And this is my progress where I'm at. I have three of five items complete. But at any point, you can click on one of these stars here to rate your course. And you could go back in at any time to adjust that or change that rating. So you have to be very careful, though, because the stars are quite touchy and sometimes like I've rated a course, I thought I rated it a five and realized after when I went back in that I had moved my mouse a little bit and it had rated it a one. <laughs> so really be careful of that because of course as instructors, um, rating is very important to us and we hope that, um, that you're really happy with your course. So I hope that little tutorial helps you out. If you have any questions, make sure that you go into that Q&A and feel free to ask away. Don't be shy about it. And I hope you enjoy the next lecture.